back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a really fun hairstyling video for you guys. I am going to show you guys a few different hairstyles that I have seen celebrities wear featuring this like chain ring hairstyle trend that they put over their braids and I think it looks so cool and so edgy so I'm here to recreate them for you guys. Before we jump into the hairstyles though, if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that red subscribe button or click the link below to subscribe so you can officially become part of the Little Flower family and you won't miss out on a single upload because that would be unfortunate if you did. I'm interested to know what do you guys think of this hairstyle trend? Do you think it's here to stay or do you think it's a no-go? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these hairstyles. So originally I bought these tiny little jump rings that I found on Amazon and these are meant for like jewelry and I was trying to use these but turns out they're way too small and when I do put them in my hair, they're just so small that it kind of disappears with the thickness of my hair. So this was pointless. So then I went in and I tried to cut up a bunch of my silver rings that I had. I used wire cutters to just cut a little piece off in the ring so then I can go like that and hook it around my hair. And that worked pretty well except I didn't have enough rings. So I went out and I found this pack of rings from Forever 21. This was $9.90. So this is 10 bucks basically for these rings. But then I went to Michael's and I found this right here. It's 120 pieces of their basically jump rings for jewelry. You can find this in the jewelry section and they have different sizes too. But this one, it has like a range of small sizes and large sizes. So I think this might work. Um, but if not, we have the rings for backup. But this was only three or four, three or four dollars. So way, way cheaper. So if you do want to recreate this hairstyle, definitely recommend going to Michaels and getting these jewelry, like jump ring type of things, rather than cutting up some rings. You know what I mean? So, anyways, let's get started with the first hairstyle. I have my phone with all the pictures on here. So the first celebrity I saw rocking this chain hairstyle was actually Christina Aguilera when she was on The Voice. I know this is a little outdated because she is not currently on the season of The Voice, but I saw this picture and it was on her Instagram and I saved it. I took a screenshot because I thought it was so awesome and so freaking edgy. So this is the first look I'm going to recreate, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So you want to start off by creating a side part like so and then I'm just going to take a clip and clip down the side that's closest to our ear so that's like out of the way and it doesn't get mixed in with our braid. And now we're going to create another side part on the other side of our head and then again clip down our hair so it's out of the way. So we're left with this chunk of hair right in the middle. I'm going to take very small sections and create a Dutch braid. So I'm going to split my hair into three and then cross the middle strand over the side strand. So as you can see, I use my middle finger, so I pick up hair, and then I use my middle finger to grab the outside section and bring it under the middle, if that makes sense. Um, I know Dutch braiding can be a little tricky, but just keep practicing and it does get easier. And if you want to check out more of my tutorials on how to Dutch braid and things like that, I do have them in my hair tutorial playlist, so I will leave that link in the cards for you guys. And you don't have to braid all the way down, so just towards the back of your head and then you can secure it. So now I'm going to take a section right in front of my ear like this, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take a small section, divide that into three, and then create a Dutch braid. So I'm just going to speed through this part and once you're done with that side you want to do the exact same thing and get a section of hair in front of your ear like this and do another Dutch braid. Now you can grab your little rings or um, jump rings, whatever you decide to use, and we're just going to hook this around each little section or chunk of in our braid. And it's easier if you kind of open up the jump ring a little bit, so then you can just slide it onto your braid like this. Um, and that's all we're going to do. We're just going to add this all along our braids down the center of our head and the two braids on the side. We're just going to add all of these rings. So here is this first Christina Aguilera inspired look. I think it's so edgy and fun and I hope you guys like it too. So the next celebrity I saw rocking this chain hairstyle trend was Shay Mitchell. There's actually two pictures I saw on her Instagram 
rocking this chain hairstyle look. So I'm going to create both of those for you guys, starting with the first one, which is kind of like this full head of braids mixed in with a variation of different size chains. I have different sizes here, except with my long nails, I, I cannot put these little ones in. So I'm just going to stick with the normal big sizes that I have. But to recreate her exact look, uh, I would alternate with these little tiny ones. But these nails, guys, I cannot do anything with these nails. By the way, how cool is this chrome? So cool, right? So I'm going to just quickly braid all of my hair and then we can go ahead and start adding in the rings. So I'm just going to quickly do all of my braids on my hair, but if you guys would like a detailed tutorial on how to create a full head of braids, you can check out my video, Easy Hairstyles for Working Out. I will leave that linked in the cards and in the description box for you guys, so you can click that if you want to see exactly how to do these braids. In Shay Mitchell's photo, she had like some baby hairs sticking out in front. And you can definitely section this off in the beginning before you even start braiding, but I'm just going to take the end of my teasing comb and pull out some of my hairs like so. And then I'm just going to run over it with my flat iron so that they are nice and straight and they're not like really crimped how it was in the beginning. So I'm just going to do that to both sides and that's how you achieve this hairstyle. So now let's add all of the rings. And these were just added randomly throughout her hair. There was no like order or anything like that. So I'm just going to space these out and sporadically add them in my hair. So here is this first Shea Mitchell hairstyle look. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I really like it. I think it looks so cool. So now let's move on to the next one. To section off our hair, we're gonna create a triangle in the back of our head like that. So I'm just gonna start behind my ears and then go upward as if I'm making a triangle with my fingers. And then all the hair on top, we're just going to um, secure that in a hair tie and just get it out of the way right now. And then with the hair remaining, we're going to go upside down because it's easier this way and create a braid. And honestly, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys and you can see for yourself, this is hard for me and I'm not very good at it. So I'm actually going to link below a tutorial from my friend Kaylee Melissa. She does amazing hair tutorials and she did a tutorial on how to do an upside down braid like this with a bun and it was so flawless. So definitely check that out for a better tutorial because Mine sucked, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, once you're done braiding, I'm just going to secure my hair in a bun like this, and then just open up the bun a little bit, just adjust however you like. And now, as you can see, my braid sucks, right? <laughs> so definitely check out my friend Kaylee's for a better tutorial. But now we're just gonna add the rings all along our hair, and you wanna keep these pretty tight because she had a lot of rings and they were all pretty close to each other, so I'm just gonna do a lot of rings all along this braid. And honestly, what's cool about this, if your braid sucks like mine, it's okay because this still looks cool when you are done because all of these rings just kind of hide the messiness, so I really like how this hairstyle turned out. What do you guys think? This next one is a combination of the Shea Mitchell bun and the Christina Aguilera braids. And this look was actually worn by Christina Milian. I saw this on her Twitter and I was like, ah, I gotta do it. I gotta do this one. So that is what we're going to recreate. Fun little fact, does anyone remember when I got to interview Christina Milian when she was on Dancing with the Stars? Good times, good times. Anyways, we're going to basically do the same thing we did with the first Christina Aguilera hairstyle that I showed you. So I'm creating a braid in the middle of my head and then two braids on the side of my head in front of my ear. The only thing with this one is you don't have to braid all the way down. You can just braid a little bit past your ear and you are good to go. Now I'm gonna gather all of my hair up to the top of my head and secure it in a bun. So I'm just going to twist my hair around and just secure it with a hair elastic to create this nice little bun on the top of our head. And again, now for the fun part, I'm just going to add the rings. And once you have all of the rings kind of opened, you can see how it's just so much faster to apply them and stick them in your hair. So if your jump ring is slightly opened, it's just gonna make this a lot easier. So I'm just going to add the rings to my braid and that is it for this hairstyle. And finally,
finally, this last hairstyle I actually saw Black China wear. I'm not too familiar with who she is. I just know that she's with Rob Kardashian. That's all I know about her. But um, I saw her with this hairstyle and it is so right up my alley. It's so adorable. I love the half up, half down Dutch braid hairstyle. I feel like that's something that I've shared on my channel before, but we are just going to incorporate the chain ring trend to it. So I'm really excited. So let's get on with this final hairstyle. So you want to start off by creating a side part like so and then I'm going to section off this side and go down right towards my ear like that and then we're just going to secure the hair in the back so that it's out of the way and now I'm going to create a Dutch braid with this section that we've um, that we've created. So again, same thing, I've done a Dutch braid for this whole entire video. Um, definitely check out my other tutorials if you'd like more detailed um, videos on how to Dutch braid. So now that we've created that first braid on one side, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and create a section down towards my ear and just braid all the way down. And once you're done braiding, we're just going to secure both of those braids behind our head and then secure it with an elastic. And once you have that tied, you can actually take out the hair ties of the braids. And so that hair at the bottom will just kind of fall and blend into the rest of our hair. So now it's time to add our jump rings into our hair. And the only difference with this, we're gonna be applying the chains all along the braid, all the way into the back too. But what's different about this one is that um, hers were all very uniformed and they all kind of laid flat like this so that's the only difference I'm doing like compared to putting the rings on on the previous hairstyles so make sure that they're all lying flat in the same direction so that way this will look more uniform and put together and I don't know I just really like this look I think out of all of them this one is my favorite So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. If you are still not subscribed yet, girl, you better subscribe. I'm just kidding. Subscribe only if you want to. <laughs> if you guys have any requests for hair tutorials you guys would like to see here on my channel, make sure you tweet me pictures on Twitter. Where else would you tweet me? My username is JackJack. Um, send me pictures and I can save them and keep them in mind for upcoming hair tutorials. And if you want more hair tutorials, I do have a whole playlist which I will leave linked below and in the cards for you guys if you want to check out. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!